Good evening, everybody. What's good? Okay, so I know today is Saturday, first of all. All right. I've been sick. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. I've been sick all week. Um, and Friday just was bad. It was bad. That's it. It was just bad. And I just couldn't do it. So here I am with this week's um, erotic love reading using the romance deck from Doreen Virtue. Um, yeah. I'm pulling it together. So I'm going to be doing erotic love reading like I've done every week. We're going to do um, fire sign, water sign, air, and earth. I'm going to be pulling one card. I'm going to shuffle the deck, um, cut them in half, and give you a card. I've already given my... Um, <coughs> I've already prayed and asked for proper guidance and um, and give you guys the best reading possible. So... You know how I do. We're going to jump right on in. My name is Ebony Joy. I have a YouTube page called Coco Love. Um, I am doing my... What's called Coco Love Talking Sex. Um, I am doing my erotic love readings from Facebook Live. I will be uploading this video to my YouTube page. This is going to be the erotic love readings for the week of November 15th. Um, yeah. Let's get right to it. All right? Like I said, y'all know how I do. We're going to get right to it. Um, again, please excuse me because I just did not, wasn't ready. I couldn't do it last week. Um, all right, so we're going to shuffle the cards. And um, this week, I usually start with fire signs, but I think I'm going to start with earth this week, okay? So um, just, just to kind of give you a little bit of background about me, I've been doing readings my whole life, but I've decided to take on the calling and do them professionally. So if anyone is interested, you can reach out to me at cocolovesextalk at gmail.com um, if you're interested, or you can get my inbox up um, if that is if that works for you. Hey, Bobby. I don't know who this is. Is that A.G. I.G.? Hey. Um, I lost my train of thought. Coco Love Talking Sex. Um, or you can hit my Facebook inbox up if you are interested. Okay. All right. We're going to start with Earth Signs because that's what I'm feeling right now is Earth Signs. Um, which is Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. So I'm going to shuffle the cards. Like I said before, I'm using the Romance Angel deck by Doreen Virtue. Um, I love her decks. They're really colorful. This is what the back of the deck looks like. And just to kind of give you an example, the pictures on here are really, just really detailed and loving. And um, they kind of give you a, a clear picture. I think I've said this before. I believe I said last week, some readers use tarot cards, which I am learning up in mm -hmm. my spiritual mm -hmm. game and then some readers use oracle um oracle decks or oracle cards and um oracle is direct message whereas tarot cards give you more of a detail more details okay so this is going to be a quick reading we're going to start with the earth sign okay earth signs again are capricorn taurus and virgo i'm shuffling the cards cutting them in half and the erotic love reading card for this week for the earth signs is true love true love okay the card says that this is the romance of a lifetime y'all hear that earth signs romance of a lifetime okay so that means this week the energy around earth signs is true love. Someone is already in your life or they are going to come into your life. But y'all know how I do. Make sure you consummate that true love. Get it. Ain't nothing wrong with some sex. Get it. All of it. Enjoy it. Even if it's just mm -hmm. a one night stand, so to speak. It's going to be true love in that moment. You know, sometimes when we have sex... <laughs> we get too emotional and can't compartmentalize that this is just sex and we can have this moment and truly enjoy it and be all up in it. And it can be amazing 
and that's it and walk away and be like, "Mm mm-hmm, that was amazing and go back to that person and have amazing, wonderful, in lust, in love. I know exactly what I said. I said in lust and in love sex. You can have it. It's possible. Sometimes the energy between you and somebody else is deeper when it's just sex. You understand that? Sometimes the energy between you and somebody else is deeper when it's just sex. You don't need all that other stuff. You don't really need to get to know them. Now, look, I am not saying, by no means am I saying that you can't have true love without it being just sex. You can. I'm just saying that what I'm getting right now is that this true love card is a broad spectrum and somebody is going to be just about having great sex with the right person. You understand that? Great sex with the right person. It's going to feel amazing. And when it's over, it'll be over. If you have sex with that person again, wonderful. But enjoy this in the moment. Okay? And for all of those who this is already applying to and you know who this true love is, because sometimes you know exactly what this card means. Enjoy them. They're coming or they're already there. Open yourself up to it. Okay? All right. We're going to move on. We're going to go to air signs. All right? Shuffle the cards. Cards. All right, cutting them in half. All right, air signs, Libra. Hey, Bobby. Aquarius and Gemini. All right, past life relationship. You have known each other before. Ooh, ho, 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 ho. Bobby, you already know what I'm talking about. I'm sorry to call you out, but you already know what I'm talking about. I can feel it. I can feel it. I can feel it. I can feel it. You already know who this is. You know who this is. You have known each other before. You have experienced a, or you are currently experiencing a past life relationship. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I really appreciate you guys. Um, so again, this is for air signs. So uh, a Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini, okay? So this card that I just pulled is past life relationships. You have been, um, you know that this person has been in your life before. You are experiencing them again right now or you're going to be experiencing them again right now. Enjoy them. Is that clear? Again, all this is all about enjoying them. Have fun with them. Yes, that nostalgic feeling that you have is real that feeling of i know you from somewhere it feels like we've known each other our whole lives that is real especially when you're having sex i just recently had a sex partner who i had that experience with and um it's a wonderful feeling to feel like you already know that person even if you've only been with them a few times to feel like like the connection is just there and it's deep and it resonates with you, man. Anyway. All right. So that is for my air signs. Again, this is for Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini past life relationship. So that person this week is already in your life or they're going to be coming into your life this week. Now, I just want to make something really clear before I move on to water and fire. When you are watching this, if it resonates with you, it resonates with you. If it does not resonate with you, that's okay. That means that this reading was just not for you at this time. It doesn't mean that the message is wrong. Okay. Does that make sense? Um, all right, I'm going to shuffle the cards again. We're going to move on to water signs, which is Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, all right? So this is the erotic love readings for the week of November 15th. I know that today is the 16th. Like I said at the beginning of my video, I've been sick all week. Um, shuffle the cards, cut them in half. And wedding, this card came up last week. Everybody, wedding energy is everywhere. 
wedding energy is everywhere, but this is specifically talking to the water signs, okay? So that's Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. This situation involves a marriage, okay? So wedding bills are in store for someone, or you're going to go to a wedding. You're going to meet someone. You're going to meet someone, um, or or your relationship is going to move to the next level. And it's going to come. There's going to be a commitment, um, within that relationship is going to feel like a marriage. Does that make sense? Um, yeah. Um, somebody wants, is there somebody who wants to actually, you want to be married? Um, or you want that commitment for, um, our water signs? It's coming. Be patient. And when I do these readings for the week, I want you guys to understand that sometimes the timeline is um, divine. That makes sense. It might not literally be within the next seven days. It's the energy that's floating and floating around that group of signs. Do you understand? So, so for example, like this wedding, this this wedding, somebody might go to a wedding. Somebody at this in the water signs, you might go to a wedding, right? But the wedding might not be till December, but you might get the invitation this week. Somebody might talk about a wedding this week. Um, your relationship might start to build toward a stronger commitment this week. Okay. But the solidification of it or the, the seeing it in totality might not happen for a few weeks. Okay. So just be advised of that. All right. All right. Fire signs. That's me. Um, let's shuffle these cards. God, I love my fire signs. Okay. All right. Shuffle the cards. Cut them in half. Fire signs. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Mm, it is safe for you to love. Okay, fire signs. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all, which is love. Okay, can you guys see that card? I hope you can. All right. It is safe for you to love this week. I think that that is pretty self-explanatory. Don't shut anybody out. Open up. Be ready to receive and be ready to give. And it is safe for you to open your hearts up. Fire signs, especially Leos. It's okay. I don't know. I don't mind talking about myself. Especially Leos have a tendency of shutting down. Being like, mm -mm, my feelings was hurt and I'm good to go. And so we, real, we are really good at compartmentalizing between love and sex and romance and intimacy. Real good at it. Okay. So just FYI. Anybody out there is dating a Leo and you're trying to figure a few things out, I'm going to tell you right now, they are compartmentalizing to the gods, okay? So you're going to have to figure out a way to get in there. I'm not going to give you all our secrets. Okay. Anyway. All right. I had to take a sip of that tea. That tea. All right. Okay. So I think that's really self-explanatory. I'm literally, literally open up. Open your heart. Be open to receive. It's okay to love someone. It's okay to let your emotions show to that person. They want it. They want to receive it. And they want to reciprocate it. Okay? All right. So that is the reading for this week. Erotic Love Readings This Week by Ebony Joy. Um, that's me. That's me. I'm Ebony Joy. Um, I will, Like I said, I will be putting this video up on my YouTube channel, which is Coco Love Talking Sex. Um, so I hope you guys get the opportunity to go over there. I have lots of videos up on my YouTube channel. I'm going to be posting new stuff. I told you guys last week I am working on the HIV. Um, I'm sorry. Well, well, yeah, HIV, herpes, chlamydia, gonorrhea, STIs. I'm working on um, videos to kind of do a series on that to kind of help self-educate us. Um, due to a post that I had put up several weeks ago, right? I hope y'all remember that. I put up a post several weeks ago and it caused a little uproar and I had to get on Facebook Live and break some things down. And then that prompted me to put together some things. So I'm working on that. I'll get that up soon. I think that'll end up being episode 12 on my YouTube channel because right now I'm up to episode 11. And then following that, I have um, the readings for the week, okay? 
So it's been real. I hope that touched you guys and helped you out in some way this week. If you have any questions, you want to reach out to me for reading yourself, um, by all means, hit my inbox up. Or like I said, you can email me at cocolovesextalk at gmail.com. All right. So it's been real. Peace, love, sex. Gabriel is an Aries. And he mentioned to me that it hurt his feelings when um, someone doubts what he says, like as far as his emotions and his feelings and shit. But it's like, but if your actions don't match up. Yeah, he pull the shit though. We talking about. Yeah, he pull the shit. Oh my God, are y'all still watching me? Hey, <laughs> I thought I had finished. <laughs>